Okay, here we're going to use a ghost board feature. So you have your board open. In this case, I got a 6.6 six here. And I'm going to go ahead and open a ghost board. And we're going to make it this 6.3. And we're going to compare different parts of the board. So this gray line is your ghost board. This is, of course, your 6.6, six, your original board. And, um, and by hitting the G, Key, you can see I'm holding it down that those are the points corresponding to the ghost board letting it go you have the board you've been working on and G with the arrows will get you moving your ghost board around um, that way you can kind of line up if you want to copy the nose or the tail um, and slices there's a few more things here um, as always, spacebar or tab will move you between the active board you're working on. And similarly, with the G key and the spacebar, you'll be in that slice. So this will give you a sense of you're in this slice right here of the ghost board, and this is what the points look like. And then on the active board, you're down here, the tail slice. So let's get them to both be the same slice. And you can see the subtle differences. Um, if you're trying to copy a couple rails, you can hit the arrow keys and get in there and sort of take a look at how close they might be. And vice versa over here. So that's kind of kind of the idea um, on the slices. There are a lot of options of things you can do there. The top and bottom follows similarly. Um, G key will show you all the points around the board. Um, and also you can move the board left and right, up and down, however you like. So you can kind of play with that. Pretty useful.